Oh, hello. How are you today? Um, so, I had to work for five hours today to make up some time because I was trying to save vacation time. And I'm going to tell you a little story about why I never work on Saturdays or why I really try not to. Now, originally I was only going to work two hours today, but then I got sick and we had to tack on three additional hours. The good news is I still would have gotten this call uh, because he called in at 7.30. Um, but I would have stopped dealing with it at 9 instead of noon. <clears throat> and so, first of all, this man probably needs a lot of prayer. Um, so, I do feel bad for him. But he has called us every day, every day this month. Okay? I looked through his history when I was trying to decompress myself because it was such a stressful thing. And, I mean, I, I, I won't go into everything he was talking about, but basically he was... He wasn't calling about banking. And I was like, sir, I am not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I'm, I'm not a mental health provider. That's not what we're here for. And that's what he thinks we're here for. Um, we're probably the only ones who answer the phone. And unfortunately, that's what happens when you work at a call center. You get people who call sometimes. They got no one else to speak to. And then they lay their baggage down on us. And... Um, I don't know if any of this is true or not because, you know, I wasn't there. And the, with the way he was talking, I, I think that he's not all there either. Um, so he, he said that the, his family was hurting him and he was locked in his room. They weren't feeding him. Okay. And people had documented this before. But I was the first one to open a case. <laughs> See, Stacy cares. Um, I may act like I don't care about customers, but you know, I really do care about people. It's cheesy, but it's true. I, I don't want them to be hurt or anything. So 20 minutes, I got him off the phone and uh, I had to report it. And so, I was talking to the people that I was reporting it to. I go, I don't know how to call 911 for Pennsylvania. And she goes, well, I got their number. And I go, all right, great, I'll call. Because I wanted someone to do a wellness check, which had not been done before. The whole time he called, and I know that he probably rambled the same way he rambled with me, with everybody else, and no one took the time. I feel bad for this dude. Um, and so, I, oh, and he also thinks people are stealing his money, too. That's, but that was addressed. That was addressed uh, by the previous calls. Or I, I would have had to address that, too. <coughs> so, I got the number for 911 in Pennsylvania, where he's located. And I told them, they're, I'm like, yeah, this key bank. I need an officer to do a wellness check on an individual. And they're like, what is Key Bank? I go, it's a financial institution. Oh, so you're not like a suicide hotline? No. We're not. Get out of the road, you little monkeys. There are two kids riding in the road, crisscross episodes. You don't do that. There's cars coming. They come down the hill, they'll hit you. See how stressed I am? But that's all right. I'm good. So, anyways. Oh, who's parked at my neighbor's house? Hmm. Okay, anyways. Um, so, yeah. I called. I, I, got, I got the cops to his house. He called back, by the way. Uh, I, get a, I get a message from someone. They're like, 
did you call the police on this guy? I go, well, yeah, I sent, I sent someone for a wellness check because he didn't sound well. And um, they're like, yeah, he called back. Okay. <laughs> called back, spoke to someone else. Same information. And she's like, I just wanted to make sure that you handled it. And I'm like, yeah, I called 911. That, that was me. That was my baby. And, uh... Yes, I'm home now. So we're going to go in the house and we're going to spend the rest of the day with B. But, um, so I called the cops. I get a message from someone else and they're like, hey, I need you to call me right now. Um, so I had to call the dude from the department. Sometimes B cries when I read. I'm just checking for that. So I had to call the call this gentleman back in that department and he's like yeah I need to call 911 for this guy and get him some help I go it's done <laughs> not my first call about abuse sadly um hi busy B so happy to see me I know this is a disjointed call or talk with you I appreciate you putting up with it Whew. Mommy can't breathe. Hold on. Show everyone what you're doing. Show everyone how cute you are. And then we'll resume the story. Yes. It's over now. Here. <laughs> My prettiest girl. So, yeah. So I had to talk to him about the case. And then I was like, you know what? The dude just called back. And he's like, have her call me afterwards. We got to talk about this. <sighs> Terrible. Come here, boo-boo. Come here, boo-boo. Okay. <sighs> this is what it's like when I get home. <sighs> <sighs> this doesn't help, by the way. I don't know why I do it. But, um, yeah, so I had to open a case. I had to talk to people about it all, all the time I was there. Not all the time, but, you know, more, than, more time than I would have liked to have spent. So I hope he's okay. And uh, feel free to pray for him because he sounds like he needs it. But, uh. I'm good. My day's over now. Work-wise. Stop. Um, cage cleaning is not happening today. It's not happening until Tuesday when Brooke gets here. But I am... I did vacuum their cage today and she puts a little head stuck up like, What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you doing? So cute. I just love it when their heads pop up out of nowhere. It's like, bing! It's like, you're so silly. Yeah, I am going to change their hammocks and stuff. And then I might wait until Monday, but then I'm going to do the thing that they're going to hate the most. Clean their tunnel. Because you gotta, you got you to gotta shake all the rats out of the tunnel first. And then you got to go clean it. Because those smell ripe always smell ripe. I don't know why they spend so much time on there because they smell terrible. But yeah, I clean them and then I spray some vinegar in them to get some, get the ookie out. Get the ookie out. But, um, yeah, we're gonna relax today. I didn't sign up to work tomorrow and, uh, I am working Monday. So, I just want y'all to know that we're closed, so please don't call. I want an easy day. I don't want to repeat it today. I don't want this gentleman to call back. He probably will, though. Anyways, that's what happened. And it happened before all the team leaders and all the help was arrived, because he called at 7.30. No one shows up till we stay. And I had forgotten myself because I was so freaked out.
by talking to him, but then I calmed myself and I handled it. And I, I think I did all right. And uh, we'll see. But uh, we're home now. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna chill. I should probably throw in a load of laundry, but you know what? I live alone! I can wash stuff whenever I feel like it. And, uh, B, stop licking stuff. B likes to lick stuff. She's so sweet. I love my little dog. She has, she has so much trouble walking now, but she's still very happy. So as long as she's happy and comfortable and not in pain, we're good. But sometimes when she's running in the yard, and she really shouldn't run, her hind end will like kind of wrap around like a dachshund does, but she's not a dachshund, she's a Frenchie. Right, baby? Yeah. Well, all right. Thanks for listening. I wanted to share how my morning went. And now I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon chilling like a villain. All right. Peace out, y'all.